Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Dynamics 5 Academy YouTube channel. So Dynamics 5 Academy brings you training courses on Microsoft Dynamics 5, Microsoft 365, Power Platform and Azure. So in this video, I'm going to give you a very quick overview about Microsoft Power Apps. And also we talk about the different types of apps that we can create within Microsoft Power Apps. So Microsoft Power Apps is an enterprise level business development application platform where you can develop application without writing any single piece of code. So this is a low code or no code environment using that even students or teachers or anyone who is not a developer can develop application. Power Apps enables non-developers to develop application. That makes it interesting. Now, when it's come to the different types of application that we can create within Power Apps, there are three types of application. The first one is Canvas app. Second one is model driven apps. And the third one is Power Apps portal app. So using Canvas app, you can create application for your mobile or tablets. There are a lot of templates available within Power Apps, which can be utilized to create application or you can start from scratch. Second one is model driven apps. These are the application within Dynamics 5, such as Dynamics 5 for sale, customer service, marketing, field service and etc. So instead of developing or customizing this application from within Dynamics 5, you can do this customization from within Power Apps. Both are tightly integrated. So you can customize this application or you can create new model driven apps from within Power Apps. The third type of application is Power Apps Portal App, which is the latest addition to Power Apps, using which you can create portal app such as Customer Service Portal, Employee Portal, and etc. So we have Dynamics 5 Portal and considered Power Apps Portal is an updated version of Dynamics 5, which is makes it very easier to develop portal app than Dynamics 5 Portal. So I'll just walk you through Power Apps portal and I'll also show you how we can see and create different types of application within Microsoft Power App. So I'm going to share my screen, then I'll show you that. All right, so we are on the Power Apps portal now. So you can just try it for free or you can just sign it up. So I already have a subscribe account so I can directly go to my Power Apps Maker portal, so make.powerapps.com and log in there. So the first thing that you will notice here is the environments. So this is the first thing you have to check. So I have multiple environments over here. Some of them I have created for myself and for my organization over here. So I'm just going to select the sandbox one. And then on the left hand side, I have different options. In another video, I explain about this one in detail. So here on the home page itself, I can see I can create apps very easily start from data make your own apps where I can see three different options to create from. Then you can see different options to learn from and also learn about Power Apps. Then I can see the list of my apps over here. So I'll give you a quick idea about what all, all these things. So I can create different types of apps from here. Once I click on the plus create button over here, I can see there are three options I can create from. One is Canvas app from blank, model driven app from blank and portal from blank. So there are three types of Power Apps apps we can create here. The first one and the easy one would be Canvas app. So I have created separate videos for creating Canvas app, model driven app and portal app. Now when you're creating an app, you can create that from blank that you already understood. Now what the other option you have is you can create that from data options such as SharePoint, Excel online, SQL server, common data services and many other options that we have. The last option you have is you got a lot of template. Instead of you start that from scratch, you can utilize any of this template. You can see Power Apps Training for Office. That is one of the template that we have for Canvas app. Then you have community options. These are portal apps. Yeah, these are all the portal apps available from. This again, a Canvas app, etc. is available. Model driven app. This one is a model driven app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just walk you through the entire portal and see where you can create a new apps. And in the next video, I'll be creating a fresh app within Power Apps platform. Then you got a lot of option to learn from. Once you click on learn, you can see there are a lot of materials such as guided learning, help topics, community, etc. available over here. Okay, and also you can see from the home page itself, you can see materials where you can start learning from. Get started with Power Apps. So these are nothing but Microsoft Docs or Microsoft Learn documents. So if you want to know more about Power Apps and also if you are planning for certification, this is a very good source to start, start with. You can see introduction starting from introduction. So all these things are there in the portal. 
okay and here you have the environments like you already mentioned this is very important sometimes you might have multiple environments that point in time you have to select the proper one otherwise what happened is you might select the wrong one and you ended up creating uh, I mean apps in a different environment and then you might be looking for that when you're exporting or importing so by default you get this one this is my organization name and the default one this is the default one you get and then when you purchase more you get that so we'll be talking about power apps licensing also a bit so if you are searching for the license of power apps you can see that this is the pricing there are two pricing options we have per app plan and per user plan so if you have only one app or a very limited number of app that you have then you can go for this one run one app per user so ten dollar per user per app per month so this is suitable for businesses that want to license each user to run one app at a time with the flexibility to stack licenses for each additional app now the second option is a bit costlier forty dollar per user per month so this is best for businesses that want one license for each user regardless of the number of apps they need to run so you can they can run unlimited number of apps here so these are the licensing option you directly get the option to buy from here so if you already have an office Spy account you can directly purchase from here so that's the licensing option you have for power apps and you also seen where you can learn power apps from and then you have the option to create apps from here so i'll show you some of the option where you can create these apps here and in the next couple of videos we will be seeing how we can create each of these types of apps within the power apps platform okay so if you want to create an app for sharepoint you can click the sharepoint data source so to be trying to create one app for sharepoint you just need to select your sharepoint account of course you need to have a sharepoint uh, paid subscription you know to deal with that so you can see there are different connections over here this is sharepoint so this is my sharepoint team site it is showing me the list of it is ask, giving me the list of all the SharePoint list available here over here. I can select one, then I can connect to that. Then I can start creating the apps over here. So it will be trying to connect to my SharePoint account. Then I can create an app such as uh, whenever something is added to a SharePoint list, it can be displayed in my Power Apps or vice versa. This kind of apps I can create. So we'll be seeing these kind of examples more in the next couple of chapters or videos. So this is one of the app that you have created, you can see account list so this is one of the app got created i can see once i click on it i can just run it i can see it yep it is showing me the list of accounts so there is something known as account list is in my sharepoint account So in my SharePoint account, there is a list called account list. So I have connected and created a new SharePoint app. I have connected and created a new Power Apps, which is connected to SharePoint so that I can just see the list of all the account details, which is coming from my SharePoint. Yeah, I can create a new account also from here. So once I create a new account record, what will happen is this new record will be created inside my SharePoint list, which will be connected with my Dynamics file. So I just run my app. Similarly, I, I got many apps over here. So these are some of the apps that I have tried. So you can utilize each of the data sources. Then we already have seen this option, right? Create from blank. So it is asking whether you want to create an app for tablet or phone. This is a canvas app. Then it will be connected to a data source. So it will be run on your mobile or tablet. So we'll see how we can create one. We can utilize some of the already existing apps over here. So I can I have created all these apps already. So instead of creating a new one, so these are the three types of app I can create. I'll show you some of the apps I have created and already working on. All these are I have worked on. Some of these are Canvas app, you can see here. Some of these are portal app and the others are model driven apps. So I can just simply select this app, Color Strider app, I'll open that up. And I'll show you how you can run that. So this is a very simple app for mobile devices you can see here and then here is a color called red color then green and then blue right so I can just simply change the sliders over here what will happen is the color of the screen is changing so this is a very simple app I have created with the help of power apps okay so if I want to edit this app what I can do is I can go back to my app I mean select this particular app and then I can edit it so this is edit so this is the editable version of that app 
where I can make the changes. I can change some parameters, etc. over here and I can run that again. So here I have the list of all the apps within my Power Apps portal. And if I want to create a new one, I can create that. I can edit any of this. I can play this, play in the sense it will run for me. And once I done with all this, I have to publish. Once I publish it, then if I select a mobile app within my mobile devices, I can run the app from my mobile or tablet. So all this can be pushed to my tablet. So once I create an app, I can make this app available to all my employees who have an active Power Apps license. They can all install the app, log into their account, and then you can all see this app. They can all make use of it. So whenever I make any changes, I can again push it to all reach to all these people who have a license. Right, so that is what I can do, and the, this is where I can see my dataverse. Dataverse means the new name for your common data services. So here you have the list of tables, which are very equivalent to your entities, and then the choices, option set, data flows, and etc. So I'll be talking about dataverse in very detail in an, another video. So for now, you can see the list of all the option set, which are known as choices over here. We can I can make use of. These are more connected when it's come to mod model driven app. Then I can see chatboards as well as AI builder and also flows I can connect from here. So this is what I have in my Power Apps portal. I can create apps and also I'll show you how I can create an app from the template. So I'll just scroll down over here. I get the option to create an app. So I'll just select the very first one here, which is known as Power Apps Training for Office. So it is asking me what is the name of the app. So Power Apps Training for Office 51609. I can change that. I can see updated. So these are the connections I need. It's need Office 5. It needs uh, Planner. It needs Outlook. Also it needs OneNote. And just talking about this. This tutorial is a step-by-step -step guide for working with Microsoft Office 365 in Power Apps. It contains key building blocks and learning resources for creating custom apps that leverage the power of Office 365 and Microsoft Graph. All right, and this is for tablet. Then click on create. So what will happen is to try to make a connection with all this connection. So data sources where of course you should have a active license. Once you have a Dynamics 365 or Office 365 active license, so this will work for you. So once it will create that app, it is giving you that app to edit. You can make changes to this app if you want to, or you can make use of it as it is. It is trying to just make connections. Okay, all these are connected. Just click allow. That means my Power Apps is connected to all these sources so that this app can run. All right, so my app got open up. So this is the app. I can see a lot of screens are created over here, six or seven of them, welcome screen, people picker screen, uh, planner screen, I can open up each of the screen, if there is a gallery inside this one, this is a gallery, group planner control, each of this gallery contain multiple other comments, labels and etc. So when you are talking about each and every comments of a paragraph, then we will be talking about all this. Now you can see there are multiple screens, so I can navigate from one screen to another, if I click here I can see each of these are different different comments. Yeah and it's all aligned together and there are multiple screens so I can make changes to this it depends upon my requirement and finally I can click here so that it will run so this house look like so it's asking for the subject so I would say dynamic CRM and message looking for training this pen name I can search the name of the people sales at magnifies and send yeah, and it's giving instructions about here the steps and etc over here so like that I have an about page a people picker planner outlook I can add more pages to it everything I can do so this is one of the app which I can make use of very similar to it I can come back to the home page I have the portal community portal options etc I have power apps training which is also related to the same one onboarding task so I'll be showing each of this in another different videos okay so this is what we have on the portal so this is where you can create blank apps. This is where you can start from different sources. And finally, you can create from template. So I, that is what I just show you in this particular video. Okay, so I give a very good idea about the basics of our portal. 
So I have videos on how to create a canvas app, how to create different other types of apps, how to create connection and etc. So if you have any questions or comment, please mention that in the comment box. And also if you have any suggestion, you can mention that. I hope this video is helpful to you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Thank you.